This might very well be the greatest DJ drone ever created. G'day, uh, Stu here from UAV Futures, and if you're into DJI, you're into FPV, oh boy, oh boy, do I have something special for you. What we have right here, this is an absolute powerhouse beast, and let it be known, normally DJI is not my favorite type of drone to fly with, but this bad boy is definitely set to shake things up and bring an awful lot of fun to the hobby. So what this is, uh, this is the Oasis from Sub 250. The beauty about this one, it's a tiny little form factor, but do not let that fool you. It has power for days, it's an absolute little rocket, and you can pretty much take it anywhere without upsetting some people as well. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna break it down, I'm gonna show you the important parts, the things I like, and then we're gonna go out to the field, we're gonna fly it around, you'll see just how well this thing performs in this tiny little form factor. We'll talk about some of the options, and then at the end, there's a couple little things, like I mean, it's not perfect, uh, but if you can change these things, it is pretty damn close. So as a bit of an overview, uh, it's from Sub250, who makes, believe it, not sub 250 gram drones and it's got some tiny little props on the outside and the beauty about this one normally with DJI when it comes to it this I feel like is about the sweet spot and up of the sort of drones you can fly. In fact, you can see flipping it on its side, the air unit of the DJI's is actually quite large, which is why I personally prefer CADEX. I can put them on some much smaller craft, like these sorts of things. However, the unparalleled image you get back from this bad boy makes it an absolutely beautiful flight experience, but you do need that little bit of a heavier drone, a bigger drone that can lift it, and this absolutely does that in spades. So now flipping it on its side, you can see one of the ways they keep it light is it's got like your four in one ESC and flight controller inbuilt in the middle. It's just of one board which keeps the weight down it does have an external receiver which i say is a good thing so you can get that better range however the one in this i've got the elrs version and i would like to swap that out for again another elrs version but one that has an external antenna so at the moment i'll put some pictures on the screen we just have a little ceramic uh, antenna in there and i don't think that you're going to get the best range on that it's still going to be more than most people need but for what you can do with this drone you're going to want to have so much fun with it and it's going to be great not to have to worry about any range issues or anything like that of course the motors uh we've just got some 4500 kvs they're 1404s pretty beefy little things it does have plenty of pop which you're going to see in the flight footage it's made up of some little base plates i do not know if you can get spare replacement arms or anything like that at this stage because it is a fairly relatively new product and which is nice a bit of camera protection as well you do get some other camera mounts however for me i would like it if you could sort of mount your o3 camera back just a little bit more because that's the expensive part of this craft um some tpu parts at the back to hold the antenna but that's not the exciting part the exciting part is now what you're about to see like if you're a dji pilot and you're used to sort of the avada typical flying well this is going to be a game changer for you so strap yourself in when you see this you're gonna be like yeah that that looks like a ton of fun radio out here in the field with the oasis from sub 250 and i'm absolutely pumped like especially the size of it before i even take off having something about this size it's so easy to transport you don't need a huge bulky drone and when it's got dj in here and the power you're about to see it's just like a, a bit of a no-brainer all right let's do it and i love how clear dj looks too straight off the bat it's always probably it is the nicest image out of the box all right we're just going to go for a little bit of a cruise here and we'll do some range testing, some punches as well. Very, very nice picture. And I gotta say the drone, it's snappy as well. Like it handles really well in the air. It, air, it feels great on the sticks, just cruising this thing around. I wouldn't mind going uh, around behind the sheds and things like that as well. And the, I'm gonna call it the dark side of the house. So let's see if we can make it through here. See how our video handles when we're cruising through this part. Cause right now we're going through like a lot of brick and mortar and uh, yeah, no no dropouts or anything like that, which is fantastic. I probably shouldn't be flying over the pool, but let's do it. Let's do a little bit more speed flying right now. Give it some little punches. So uh, definitely no slouch at all. And you've got to remember too how small this drone is. Like it, it might look like I'm flying around a big five inch freestyle or racing drone, but uh, this is like a tiny little craft. Um, let's do a, little, a few little range tests as well. But yeah, if you've got DJI and you are after something that you want to be able to take out of the box, like this is completely stock. The one thing I might change in the future is probably the antenna um, because I would like to do a little bit longer range with ELRS, which is why I have my Boxer Crush uh, bound up as well. It would go awesome with the pocket radio as well. Let's see if we're going to get any range issues or anything like that. I can see the farmer out there. I should not be testing things over the water as well. That's always a terrible idea. And it does just have that little ceramic antenna. Um, but yeah, no issues when it comes to flying around. 
uh, for the range for those little parts. If you wanted to go longer range, yeah, you could put on another little, like a proper antenna one. But this is so much fun to be able to cruise this thing around. I am in heaven. Like if you're a DJI pilot, this is sort of like a bit of a game changer or a must. This is the craft I wish they'd sell instead of the Yavada 2. Can you imagine how much fun you could have with this if this came with your DJI kit? Drop under here. I'm feeling very in control as well. I'm feeling very confident cruising this thing around. And this is just like, I'm seeing the onboard DVR. It's probably going to look even better when you see the footage that this thing is sending back or recording on board, I should say. I don't think the birds are liking it. I can hear them losing their mind. Getting some decent flight times as well. One part they do need to change though is I can't see my battery voltage, so that's a must in the OSD. We need to make sure we're turning that on. It's very hard to tell uh, just how efficient this thing is gonna be. We can, I can check that in a little bit when I finish this flight. I'll tell you uh, what our battery volts are like. But yeah, so far, uh, this feels awesome. I think if you have DJI, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I'm gonna bring it in. Oh, I can feel the battery voltage. There we go. So I'm not sure how long that was for, but uh, I'm pretty sure we just lost our volts right then. So I think that was about like the two, two minute 40 mark, maybe three minutes, we'll double check. It looks like we might've killed one of the cells on these batteries. So that's at 2.1. The rest are at about 3.1, 3.5, 3.6. So the battery, it definitely sucked the juice. You're gonna need to make sure you put that OSD on. So too, I don't know what the audio is doing. Like that's why I'm in this weird spot because I've got someone doing a chainsaw in the background right there with a mulcher. And then for another reason, there's like a chainsaw going off. I don't know, it seems like everyone's cutting down like all the trees. So I don't know what the neighbors are doing, but uh, yeah, sorry if any of that is coming through. And the reason I'm not at the farm as well, because uh, we've got the farmer out there, he's mowing the lawn. I don't want him to run over any drones. So anyway, let me show you some things on the bench I would like to change if you're thinking about getting this. So with all that said and done, here's what you need to know if you're thinking about purchasing it. Here's the pros and the cons. I like what it does. It is very fast. And let me tell you, this is something that rarely happens where we get a craft. You know it's gonna be good when I'm gonna actually do some mods to it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to be switching out my antenna right there. I'm gonna put in like one with a proper ELRS antenna. I just, I wanna fly this thing. And that's how I know that it's a good craft because I'm gonna do the mod so I can fly it more. If I wasn't enjoying it, well, I just put it to the side or would figure something else about it, but I wanna fly this. I love what it's doing, so that's the first one. And number two, and this part's really easy, in the Betaflight OSD, I'll put some pictures on the screen, we do need to get that battery voltage back. So don't make the mistake like I did, uh, because I did kill one of my batteries, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's a very, very easy fix. So overall, I gotta say, for the price, what it's doing, this is gonna be a must have. If you're into the DJI ecosystem, you're gonna love it. I also think the price is pretty reasonable as well for like depending on what version you get to get everything that it's doing with the air unit. I gotta say, uh, I think it's pretty good value. Now, if you're just starting FPV, this thing, it's gonna have a lot of power. So definitely if you need to do some sim practice, let me know. I'll put some codes down below as well so you can get some extra time on the sticks before you take this thing out to the field and just obliterate the skies.